Box 7330, Branson, Missouri. I love what you said because it's honest, it's open. We want to hear inside those meetings. Most Americans, we, we haven't been hearing truth for a long, long time. We really haven't. They know an awful lot behind the scenes, and they say, well, you're just not mature enough, Americans, to know these things. I think we need to know. Yes, we do. I think we need to stop mm -hmm. what is yes, going on, and our country can do it. That's right. And I want to know. I want to know what, what's going on Absolutely. in the world. I want to know. And I believe with all of my heart that the, the great hope for America is that we can have right now a country again that we tell the truth. What, what am I hearing these days? One of the big things I'm hearing, and I, I, I hear pieces of things because I hear the part like, we're in, the, we're in the next world war. We're already in it, yes. is what I'm hearing. We are. Right? We are. And I'm hearing that, you know, in one day, you have three major attacks, huge attack in Germany that kills 12 people we know of for sure now, and then 50 hurt. Just, just go in and, and plows a, a Christmas village and kills the people. And then others killed in other parts of the world. And it's all terrorism. And still they're afraid to label it terrorism. Do you know how many people are coming in every single day in the United States? Right now, right now as I'm talking, how many are breaking into this country illegally? They're coming in with, with ammunition. They're coming in with guns. They're coming in with, with drugs. How many? Yeah, I, I, have I the bet report. you know because this is, we, we keep watch on this every day. Yes, this is a, a report from today, and it says 1,574 per day. This is the border officials struggle on, under increasing wave of illegal migration. So That's 1,500 every day. Have you ever lined up that many people? Now, the scary fact about this is you're referring to the terrorism worldwide. This is a scary fact, is that... 80% of everybody that's coming across our border illegally that's not Mexican, 80% are Muslim men. 80%. Pastor, you saw, some of you maybe have seen the horrific video of the Russian ambassador in Turkey being assassinated. Mm -hmm, yeah. That's right. You don't want to see the video. Robin and I watched it last night. That man pulled out a gun, came up behind the ambassador, shot him in the back. No, they and won't air did, that on most news. No, but he did not say, thank you, Jesus. What did he shout after he shot that man in the back? Allah what? Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Akba. And shouted it. Shouted it repeatedly until he was finally And we killed. say, we don't know if this is terrorism or not. And there were... You know what? We got to shout it out pretty loud. Huh. We're not that stupid. Right. We're tired of being treated. Just like down in Orlando, when that restaurant was attacked, how many eventually died? Did, I believe it was 49. 49. Did, did it come to 49? Yes. Yeah. 49 people dead in one night in a restaurant. And they were arguing. Our president was arguing. Oh, don't jump to conclusion. Mm. I, won't want, I won't tell you what... About 90% of all of them have a middle, same middle name. I don't know why, but, you know. And they say, well, oh, oh, don't give out that name. It's like it's a hide-and-seek thing. Well, I People, think... it's, it, I'm telling you, it's the life and death of America, well, it, and it, we've been it, playing a game. Well, with our and, new president, he actually uses the terminology, and that is what it, it needs to be, and it's going to be. But there's a mighty force in this country that are hell-bent on destroying our president-elect. Absolutely. Yes. absolutely. It's going to be warfare. And without God, he cannot survive. Right. And that's... Just the, as he could not be elected without a miracle. It took a miracle. They dumped a load on him every day. Right. And they're going to continue to. So what, what are we going to do? We're going to pray, pray like we've pray never prayed. Like We're going to... never before. But people are, are laying back.
Well, we're, we're saying, like Robin said earlier, you know, don't go to sleep, wake up, and stay diligent, like you said. And we have to keep on praying. And when you think, it, what does the Bible say? Paul said, when you've done all you know to do, you stand. We have to pray for our president. Actually, the Bible tells us to pray for the governor, our governor it gives me the officials. Right. Just... But, you know, I do want to do this real quick, though, Jim. I want to make this offer available for all of you. And, you know, we have so many offers for your 77th birthday, Jim, which is just coming up in a day or two. But we do have your brand new book along with several other of your books. So you get the trilogy. Is, do we call yes. it the trilogy? The, tri- okay. the trilogy. So um, right here you have, we started right with, one second after, uh-huh. then we went to one day after, one year. And, the, uh-huh. and one year after, and then the final day. This is the trilogy for a love gift of seventy-seven dollars. That's uh, right, and, and it's That's also, a deal. it is, and it's also another be birthday. Coming with two solar hybrid flashlights as well. Oh, that's a real deal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. With the books? With the books. Yes. So that's you included. You guys just keep making the pot and sweeter, right? it's coming with your powerful message that you gave on what to expect in 2017. Yes. Your word for the year. Yes. So all of that, the three books, the two flashlights, and the special word for 2017 for a donation in honor of Pastor Jim's 77th birthday for $77. That's right. This is a fabulous offer. So What will happen next? That's, that's my that's, message. Right, and it is powerful. And illuminating right, on the end of the 33 things. Yes, it's excellent. Or we, 31 things, actually. No, I think. 31. Yes, we love it. And, and actually, I got to see parts of it even after we just taped it. Um, and editing it and helping edit. And I was just like, this is powerful. So that's the right word. And you're going to want to hear this. The brand new Jim book Baker. is out. Yes. By Dr. William Fortune. Mm-hmm. And then the two other books in the series. And, that's right. And what you can do is give these to your family, your children too, and share that right. and get them started yes. so they understand the number one possible disaster in America right. is the grid. That's right. And the EMP bomb. Right. And this man has spent a lot of years working on this subject, and Newt Gingrich has helped him on some of it, kind of researched a little bit with you. Well, I'm, I'm delighted that who did Donald Trump pull in as advisors? Mm-hmm. Newt Gingrich was one. Mm-hmm. The other one was uh, James Woolsey who was former head of the CIA. I've shared the podium with him a number of times. James Woolsey, senior advisor to Trump, points out of his major security concerns, infrastructure is one of the top three security concerns. A strike from a foreign power of EMP, one of his top security concerns. A man like that is now advising the next president of the United States. Excellent. But we have a long way to go before we're really secure. Excellent. Would it, would it be poor formed for me to say that the final day has an ending that, wow. You need to read it. Can they get, one, can they get just that book? Because there's people who don't want to get a whole packet, but it's a good deal for $77. Yes. And it I should order some extra on ones. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you can get the newest book, one single copy of the final day for a donation of $25 to the ministry. That's a hardback edition, mm-hmm. okay? Mm-hmm. So we just... Everything you order helps us to broadcast and continue to broadcast. I interviewed Ronald Reagan for the first time. I actually had a chance to talk to him for the first time. And since that date, I was in the White House many, many, many times. I was there when he signed the prayer amendment. Right. I was there time and time again. He asked me to advise him even on... It's, I have the letter on my wall back there in the dressing room uh, asking me to help with his cabinet ac- to point different people. Now, I don't understand it because I was just a preacher boy, and yet God had blessed the ministry, and here was a man who really was somewhat like Trump because they were criticizing him. Uh, they said he was... N- going to ruin America, and the other side was saying, you can't trust him with his finger on the button. You know, the, the thing about Donald Trump, 
people don't want him to be Donald Trump. They always say, well, just change a little bit. You know, change this. Change your hair. Change your speech. Change what you say. You know, I'd like him not to swear quite so much in some of the bad words because we church people, we're really skittish about it. But I'll tell you what, I'd rather have somebody say a few words that I don't, don't like too, too well than, than to lie all the time. We will be right back after this special message.